Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. Body Mass Index, or BMI, is a measure of body size. It's a number calculated from a person's height and weight. It gives an estimate of your body fat. The healthiest adult BMI range is between 18 and 24. Obesity is a condition where your body mass index goes over 30. Both obesity and high blood pressure are common conditions throughout the world. But are these two conditions linked? We'll look into some studies that talk about the connection between these two, and we'll also discuss how obesity affects your blood pressure. So, how does being overweight cause high blood pressure? For decades, scientists have tried to understand how an overweight person can be more prone to developing high blood pressure. In 2016, a group of researchers from China published a study on this topic. They concluded that extra fat can cause harmful cholesterol levels to rise. And this raises blood pressure. Here's how it happens. When a person gains excessive weight, the extra calories get stored in the fat tissues of the body. This excessive fat may raise the bad cholesterol in the blood. Bad cholesterol may combine with calcium and other things to build plaque along the artery walls. The arteries can thus become narrow, and your heart has to work extra hard to pump blood into them. This causes high blood pressure. Let's talk about the relationship between obesity and kidney function. The same study also looked at the relationship between weight gain and the malfunction of kidneys. If fat deposits around the kidneys, it can cause structural changes in this vital organ. This can cause a renal sodium absorption disorder. It means that your kidneys are no longer able to flush out waste fluids as efficiently as before. Excessive fluid retention in the blood vessels leaves less space for blood to flow through them freely and this increases blood pressure. If you already have high blood pressure and then you turn obese, it can get worse. High blood pressure itself can cause blood vessels in the kidney to malfunction, and that's also when your kidneys fail to pump out all the waste liquid out of the body. This can further elevate your blood pressure. Now let's talk about obesity, hypothalamus, and blood pressure. A new study looked at the link between obesity and high blood pressure from a whole other angle. In 2021, Cell Metabolism published this study on mice that multiple European institutes had funded. In this study, the scientists fed a group of mice with a high fat and high sugar diet. After two weeks, they found that the mice had gained weight and also had high leptin, Leptin is a hormone that controls food intake. Levels of leptin are higher when you're fat and lower when you're thin. And at the same time, they found that the blood vessels in the hypothalamus of the mice also grew fast. Hypothalamus is a small portion in the center of the brain. Its main function is to maintain balance in the body. It does so by ensuring the smooth flow of the hormones. Through the study, the scientists discovered that it was the increased leptin that caused blood vessel overgrowth in the hypothalamus. Certain support cells in the hypothalamus, called astrocytes, helped in the process. These overgrown blood vessels cause blood pressure to rise in mice. So what are some more connections? Another way in which obesity can affect blood pressure is through subclinical inflammation. Subclinical inflammation happens when certain immune system cells change. Obesity is often the cause of subclinical inflammation, and this kind of inflammation can either cause high blood pressure or make it worse. A group of U.S.-based scientists studied this aspect in a paper published in 2011. Obesity can also cause sleep apnea. This is a condition where breathing stops frequently during sleep. An older study at Mayo Clinic published in 2003 looked at the connection between obesity, sleep apnea, and high blood pressure. According to this study, sleep apnea is a leading cause of high blood pressure. However, treating sleep apnea can bring down blood pressure. 
These are all situations that indicate that obesity can affect blood pressure indirectly as well. In summary, we can see that obesity and high blood pressure are tightly linked and together they create many severe health issues. Neither one should be left untreated. What actions can you take? If you're overweight and have high blood pressure, make sure that you are seeing a doctor. Your doctor would possibly first treat you with blood pressure lowering medications. Once your blood pressure is under control, they might suggest getting to the root cause. Treating obesity, which is often the root cause, may require different approaches. Maintaining a healthy weight needs adequate exercise and a healthy diet. It also means you consider your body mass index and strive for the healthy range of 18 to 24. Your doctor may also look into other causes of obesity if you're already eating healthy and have an active lifestyle. Obesity could be the prime factor behind your high blood pressure. Taking steps to maintain your ideal weight can prevent many life-threatening conditions. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.